Welcome to the Parent Tech Guide. These videos will help you be more tech savvy. Welcome to Internet Safety. There are 10 lessons on Internet safety to help parents and teachers. Teachers can earn CEU credits for this course. Email me for your assignment and direct. Using internet communications such as cell phones, social medias, online gaming, chat rooms, email, and instant messaging put children at risk of encountering online predators. Children feel that they are aware of the dangers, but really they are very naive about online re relationships. How do predators work? They find kids through social media, blogs, chat rooms, instant messages, email, discussion, gaming, and other websites. They seduce the children with attention, affection, kindness, and even gifts. The predators know the latest music and the hobbies and all of the latest things that kids know to talk to them and gain their interest and friendship. Predators listen to and sympathize with kids' problems about their family and their friends and their school. Predators slowly introduce sexual content or inappropriate photos in their conversations, and predators invite kids to meet them face to face. Parents need to protect their children by knowing the risks related to online communication and be constantly involved with their children's internet activities. The FBI has a cyber investigation department that tracks and arrests children predators. A child predator can locate a child with three pieces of information, such as their name, their school, and their city. So it's important that teachers and parents teach students not to share any personal information over the internet. They should have gender neutral screen names to protect themselves. There's a link to a video on this page and an article, and that will be in your attachment for Lesson 9. How to Avoid Predators Be aware of friendly strangers and do not give any person information. Notice if someone is following or stalking you. Take action and tell someone you trust. Change your email address and use email filters and confront the person and tell them to stop contacting you. Teach your children to tell a trusted adult at school and to tell you if anyone has contacted them while using internet communications, games, social media, websites, blogs, and chat rooms. Keep your children safe from the online predators. If your child is being targeted by an internet predator, here are some things that you need to do. First off, stop all internet activity, gaming, email, discussion, social media, if anyone starts to ask questions that are too personal or sexually aggressive. Post the family computer rules near the computer. We talked about this in earlier lessons. Document email addresses, web addresses, chat logs, that you can share with the police. Keep anything that will lead you to the predator. You can check your child's history on the computer, the browser history, to find websites where they have visited. Check your computer for pornographic files. A lot of times the predators will email these to students and to children, so check that. Look in the download folder, see what your children have downloaded and then monitor your child's access to all live electronic communications such as chat rooms, instant messaging, social media, gaming, and email. And then report anything to the police. Most attorney general's offices have set up predator online units where they are actually undercover cops are going into the games and the chat rooms and are looking for these online predators. So check your local 
police authority, local FBI unit, local attorneys general's office to see what they have and how to report online predators. All parents need to be tech savvy. Stay tuned for more videos.